G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be redesigning the last six AFL Guernseys. I have done two videos of this series before and I'm concluding it with the last six jumpers that I'm yet to show you. I'm actually really proud with some of these efforts to be honest. I, I think they're some of the best ones I've done. They're all alternate kits and they're all a little bit wild. And just before we get into the video, if you guys have not subscribed yet, we're trying to grow the YouTube channel as big as we can, so it would mean the absolute world to me if you did hit subscribe. But without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Here are the last redesigned AFL jumpers. Now this one I'm kicking it off with is a little bit controversial to be honest. I thought if Port Adelaide can steal Collingwood colours, why can't Collingwood steal Port Adelaide colours? I'm obviously joking Port fans, please don't get triggered. Even though you guys started it, you threw my scarf into the river torrents. <laughs> I was thinking about designing a Collingwood training Guernsey. I think the most obvious thing to start off with with a Collingwood Guernsey is the swooping magpie. Everyone loves it. It's everyone's favourite. And because it's a training Guernsey, I was thinking of something quite flashy. So I initially put pink uh, where the teal was, and then I put yellow where the teal was as a bit of a flashy sort of training kit. And then I put teal on the sides and on the collar, and it worked better than all the others. I know it sort of seems like a little bit of a dig at Port Adelaide, but I think it genuinely looks the best out of all the flashy colors that I use. I then got a little bit of zebra pattern and I put it on the jumper and then I lowered the opacity so it was a little bit more subtle. But yes, that is my Collingwood training Guernsey. Let me know in the comments down below if you rate it or you hate it. Now how good is this one, the Gold Coast Suns? I don't really like their logo, it's quite round, it's quite quite boring, so I wanted to mix things up and use a different sort of GC. I honestly wanted to take a little bit of inspiration from the Giants who use their G quite prominently on their jumper. So I got a GC off Google Images and then chucked it in. I used the yellow of the Gold Coast Suns behind the GC. I then obviously used the red down the sides and on sort of where the cuffs are, I guess. And yeah, I think it's quite slick. I think this is a clash jumper. I think this is Gold Coast's next clash jumper. I think it looks very, very good. And yeah, I'm all for it, if I'm gonna be honest. We love the Hawkers. This is another Clash Guernsey as well. It's not quite the Power Rangers Clash, but it's um, it's quite slick, I reckon. So I went through the Hawthorne archives of all their logos, and one of my favorite logos is the early 2000s. I also gave them a traditional football sash. It's quite thick, but I thought it looked really cool behind the brown hawk that I cut out of their logo. And then obviously I made a white kit. So I'm actually a massive fan of this one as well. I think this one would sell like hotcakes on the merchandise store. Yeah, really, really fond of this one. And I, I can see this being a clash, as I said before. I can see Mitchie Lewis coming out of the square with this jumper on. <laughs> I obviously waited to do some of the biggest hitting clubs last, the Pies, the Hawks, and now the Tigers. Here is my Richmond Football Club Guernsey. I picked out the full Tiger, the full length Tiger. I got that on Google Images. One of the sides is yellow and the other side is completely white. I think it looks really, really fresh to be honest. I think that looks pretty unbelievable. Initially it was a training Guernsey, but now I think it could be used as a clash, if I'm gonna be honest. And I think anyone would be pumped to be representing this, this jumper. Now this Saints one, I think is absolutely a clash jumper. I was playing around with it for a long, long time. The Saints have incorporated the yellow in a lot of their Guernseys. And I like when teams mix things up completely and chuck in a random color. There's probably a bit of a backstory to why the Saints use yellow often, but I wanted to get in on, on the yellow action. Looking at this jumper right now, it looks familiar. So I tried to look up Saints Clash jumpers and I don't think I saw anything quite like this one, but there have been similar ones where they do have the yellow cross and it's quite a thick line. So I don't know, it feels really familiar, but I think I could see the Saints using it as a Clash jumper. I could see some of the boys running around Marvel Stadium with this jumper on for certain. There's no doubt about it. Last but not least, the Western Bulldogs. I was struggling a little bit on how to redesign the Western Bulldogs, cut out a fair chunk of their logo. I was just gonna do the Bulldog, but I liked how some of the colors behind the Bulldog in the shield came across. 
I then tried to incorporate it all throughout the jumper. So obviously the blue on the cuffs and the collar and then the red down the side. I think the back would be all white. But yeah, I, I was struggling a little bit, but this is what I came up with. I think this is definitely a clash jumper. I can see the bond running around in Marvel with this on. And I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest. I'm pretty proud of it. All right, guys, that is it for redesigning AFL jumpers. I really appreciate all the support on the series. If there was one jumper in particular that you liked throughout the series, comment down below and I might make a physical copy of it. I might try and design a physical version of my Guernsey that I designed. So that would be awesome. Comment down below your favorite Guernsey out of the series and I'll try and whip it up. Anyway, guys, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone getting around the videos and I'll see you all very, very soon for some more content. Cheers.